All right, let's see what's going on. Let's do a summary of March and see where things went from what we discussed last month. Uh, we're going to talk about the ES as well as the Dow and see where things went in regards to price. <clears throat> so last month we had discussed the possibility of either going up or either coming down based on what we saw in the fibs. Let me uh, pull up some of these fibs here. So from the high to the low, this is what we saw. Uh, we were at this inflection point because we had a resistance point right around here where multiple times we saw some resistance. And we were around that same area last month. All right, before we had closed right around here, 3 1. Okay, we, we kept on touching this mark, this level mark. We were above the 50-day, the 100-day, a 200-day, and we were above our RAM indicator. And that meant the, the momentum was upward, right? I mean, also, we had seen on the MACD, this is on a daily chart, we had seen on the MACD that the, the move, the trend was upward because we had gotten to a point where it was crossing above the zero line. And also we had seen this inflection point right around here where we were on the upper side of the RSI and this month I've added the woodies below so we can kind of keep track of see what's going on in the longer term picture as well so I mentioned last time that look this is the 61.8 either we're gonna go retouch it or we're gonna climb and go to the 88 and so these were the two points that I had and you can see that we ended up going towards that 61.8 it never crossed through it and we had a support level from from a previous it was a, a resistance point right so we had noticed that we had this one was a major one uh, we kept on hitting and crossing so we came along right here and touched it and just went right back up and then this time we crossed the resistance point right around here and then went towards the 88.6 we never made it to the 88.6 and then now it's like slowly hovering back down now we can make it lower highs right around here all right so this is what we're seeing right now what are we expecting in, in the next few weeks this month and in the month of April let's see what's going to happen here now all right we can either look at it in the, in the sense that look we're going to try to continue this ride up here and try to hit this 88.6 and perhaps even cross it and then maybe turn back down trying to make a lower high from the highs or since we've already breaking, broken the previous highs, we're looking at maybe a, a longer term upwards right here. And if this 88.6 holds it in, then we're looking at going back down to the, the 61 and possibly the 50. All right, now we're on the positive trend over here looking at the MACD looking at the RSI we're on an uptrend as well so if you look this here you see this we also made a higher low okay so we're looking at this as another trend leg up possibly right around this mark right here so that's that's what majority of it is showing us that we're looking at this area in the next few weeks just because what we see here because what we see here and if we're following the woodies look at this we have a green 
or actually a cyan cyan oval right around here are Woody's indicators showing us that it's up on the it's above the zero line all right and so if this holds it in we may continue to go upwards and this next few days could be uh, higher higher and then possibly a lower okay so let's keep an eye on what's happening here and if we see a positive green bars appear then that just kind of gives you another confirmation that we're looking at another leg up okay on the ES and that's what we're seeing all right so that's kind of what I'm looking at in terms of the next few days next few weeks uh, now with with all that said you got the brexit looming in the next few weeks you got the trade deals coming up now if any of those things go the opposite direction uh, forget this move upward which is going to go down and, and just cross that 61 8 and 50. okay so that's what's in the forecast for the for es let's take a look at what's happening on ym all right so on ym this is actually let me remove all this all right so this is our ram indicator on the ym this is the dow e mini futures okay now one thing to keep in mind we're very close and we've touched our ram indicator several times right here if you, if you keep an eye on it it actually touched many many days it didn't close below it however you see this it closed above the ram indicator that just that's another signal up if purely technical that we're looking we're going up all right uh, maybe there may be a, a slightly pull down here may go to the resistance point and then maybe go up all right let's take a look at the fibs on this see where we were from previous we the high All right, so we had this 78.6 last time we were touching. Let's see, right around here. All right, we were hovering right around the 78.6. It did manage to break below it, and then right back up. And now we're making either a resistance right here, or we're going to try to make a support. So once we identify whether in the next few sessions or next week or so, if this becomes support, we're looking at towards 88.6. All right, and then maybe perhaps even trying to look at the all-time high right around here. And again, with all the news that are coming out, we may possibly go down. All right, we, that's, we're very close to our RAM indicator. We're a 50 and 100, uh, 200 day moving. Are, are creeping up look on the downside over here what are we seeing over here we had the uptrend from the last month we were above look, I even have a circle right here this circle and it was indicating that we're on its way up a little bit now we're actually crossing Oops. We are crossing right here. What does that mean? All right, so this is an inflection point. All right. Whether it remains on the, the whether, whether it remains up above or below, and then makes a huge leg down, like in this case right here. So we got to keep an eye on this. In the next few sessions, we'll be able to figure out what's going to happen. All right. On, on the other hand, we got the RSI. 
on the uptrend here. Although it does look like we made a lower low here. And we'll get over here and see what, what's happening here. If we stop short of this, if we don't cross this, look look for a leg down. However, look over here on the woodies. Woodies is showing that we're on its way up. We got a green, not even a cyan, we have a green one here. Which is giving you a signal of possibly a strong trend upwards because we're above the zero line, the ZLR. There's no ZLR right now. Look at this. We got the ZLR strategy. If you follow the ZLR in our in our uh, course, in my course, um, there was a rejection right here, and I went up. Small rejection here, and then up. All right. So now, if we see another few days where it rejects against the zero line, we're looking at a nut leg upward. All right. So we're, we're if things are moving along, we're we're going to see this upward trend to this 88.6 and possibly a leg down. Let's take a look on the... I want to see something on the Bollinger Bands and see what we're, we're looking at in terms of the Bollinger Bands. So actually, let me hide all these. Let's just take a look at the Bollinger Band. Just clean, empty chart on the daily. See what's going on. All right, on the ES. All right, so we were right here around, right around here last month, beginning of this month. Right, as you can see, it crossed below. There was some leg down, and then went back up to the mid band, climbed up, and then back down, and then up. Now we're up above. So there's a chance that we may touch this number right here <clears throat> and see what's happening there. Um, I don't see anything out of the ordinary. We don't have a band rider of any sort. Um, let's take a look on the ES see what's happening on the ES on the Bollinger Bands move all right so let's see what's happening on the ES and this is a daily okay so right around here is where we started the month we had a few legs down, cross below. There was a leg down after a cross below the mid band. Went right back up. And as soon as it crossed above, you, you took a band right, right here. This indicates that you're just touching the band continuously until this one right here broke. And it kept on going up and up as so as, so as long as it touched the upper band. And as soon as it broke above uh, by touching it, and then you saw some leg downwards. And it's still above the fifth, uh, the mid band, so there's a chance that it may just try to retouch it and hover around. Let's look at the weekly to see what the weekly showed us. On the weekly, we had a band right here before. Let's take a look at what's happening at the end of this month. And right around here. So that week we had a leg down. We had this price level support. We remember we talked about. 
and then it took a ride up again and it's trying to go back towards the the upper band on the weekly now one thing that I want you to uh, be aware of let's look at the woodies if you can add the woodies on this on the weekly chart it's pretty amazing what you can find So we had this yellow line that gave us green, 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 green. Now we're at this point where this could easily be a ZLR strategy. If this right here goes up this week, this upcoming week, then that means we're just going to go up. And this is on the E-mini S&P futures, okay? This right here is going to give us the indication whether uh, this upcoming week whether it's going to go continue to go up and if the if it rejects then we're looking at the trend up and one thing i want to point out is that we are trending we are above the zero line we are above the linear regression line 25 right here it's green well, one thing, uh, the other thing is the CCI is above zero, and that's pretty much giving us a, a nice uh, clue that we're moving up. All right, so that's what we are seeing for for the Dow and the ES for this upcoming month. A little bit uh, upwards. If the news is good regarding Brexit, regarding what we're having to deal with in terms of China trade deals. And then the third thing is inflation. You just got to keep an eye on what, what they continue to talk about and see what's happening in regards to inflation. Uh, just continue to watch it and see wh where that goes. Uh, news is ultimately what's going to drive the price. Uh, but at the, at the same time, uh, if you're truly relying on price action, uh, this is what we're seeing. Right? If you have any questions on any of this, reach out to me on Discord. Ask me a question on that anywhere. Reach out to me on my website, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Thanks.